An iceberg is a large piece of freshwater ice that has broken off a glacier or an ice shelf and is floating freely in open salt water. Another name for iceberg is ice mountain. Small bits of disintegrating icebergs are called growlers or bergy bits. Icebergs are possible on Earth because the oceans are filled with liquid water, a substance less dense when solid than liquid. Planets with oceans consisting of different substances like methane cannot have icebergs, as their chunks of frozen liquid would sink. Because 90% of an iceberg is below the surface and not visible, icebergs have been considered a serious maritime hazard ever since the 1912 loss of the unsinkable RMS Titanic, leading to the formation of the International Ice Patrol in 1914. The expression, tip of the iceberg, illustrates a difficulty that is only a small, visible part of a larger, complex problem. The largest iceberg ever reliably recorded was Iceberg B-15A which split off the Ross Ice Shelf in Antarctica in 2000. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The word iceberg is a partial loan translation from the Dutch word ijs berg, literally meaning ice mountain, cognate to Danish isbjerg, German iceberg, Low Saxon yesberg, and Swedish isberg. Topic <inaudible> Overview. <inaudible> Because the density of pure ice is about 920 kg per cubic meter, and that of seawater about 1,025 kg per cubic meter, typically about one-tenth of the volume of an iceberg is above water which follows from Archimedes's principle of buoyancy. The shape of the underwater portion can be difficult to judge by looking at the portion above the surface. The visible tips of icebergs typically range from 1 to 75 meters 3 to 200 feet above sea level and weigh 100,000 to 200,000 metric tons 110,000 to 220,000 short tons. The largest known iceberg in the North Atlantic was 168 meters (551 feet) above sea level, reported by the USCG icebreaker East Wind in 1958, making it the height of a 55-story building. These icebergs originate from the glaciers of western Greenland and may have interior temperatures of minus 15 to minus 20 degrees Celsius 5 to minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds and currents tend to move icebergs close to coastlines, where they can become frozen into pack ice one form of sea ice, or drift into shallow waters, where they can come into contact with the seabed, a phenomenon called seabed gouging. The largest icebergs recorded have been carved, or broken off, from the Ross Ice Shelf of Antarctica. Iceberg B-15, photographed by satellite in 2000, measured 295 by 37 kilometers, 183 by 23 miles, with a surface area of 11,000 square kilometers, 4,200 square miles. The largest iceberg on record was an Antarctic tabular iceberg of over 31,000 square kilometers, 12,000 square miles, 335 by 97 kilometers, 208 by 60 miles, sighted 150 miles, 240 kilometers west of Scott Island in the South Pacific Ocean by the USS Glacier on November 12th. 
1956. This iceberg was larger than Belgium, a small iceberg less than 2 meters, 6.6 feet across that floats with less than 1 meter, 3.3 feet, showing above water is called a growler and is smaller than a bergy bit, which is usually less than 5 meters, 15 feet in size. Both are generally spawned from disintegrating icebergs. As a piece of iceberg ice melts, it produces a fizzing sound called the Bergy Seltzer. This sound results when the water ice interface reaches compressed air bubbles trapped in the ice. As this happens, each bubble bursts, making a popping sound. The bubbles contain air trapped in snow layers very early in the history of the ice, that eventually got buried to a given depth up to several kilometers and pressurized as it transformed into fern then to glacial ice. <laughs> Shape In addition to size classification, icebergs can be classified on the basis of their shape. The two basic types of iceberg forms are tabular and non-tabular. Tabular icebergs have steep sides and a flat top, much like a plateau, with a length to height ratio of more than 5 to 1. This type of iceberg, also known as an ice island, can be quite large, as in the case of Pobeda Ice Island. Antarctic icebergs formed by breaking off from an ice shelf, such as the Ross Ice Shelf or Filchner Ron Ice Shelf, are typically tabular. The largest icebergs in the world are formed this way. Non-tabular icebergs have different shapes and include Dome, an iceberg with a rounded top. Pinnacle, an iceberg with one or more spires. Wedge, an iceberg with a steep edge on one side and a slope on the opposite side. Dry dock, an iceberg that has eroded to form a slot or channel. Blocky, an iceberg with steep, vertical sides and a flat top. It differs from tabular icebergs in that its aspect ratio, the ratio between its width and height, is small, more like that of a block than a flat sheet. Topic. Monitoring Topic <laughs> History Before the early 1910s, although there had been many fatal sinkings of ships by icebergs, there was no system in place to track icebergs to guard ships against collisions. In 1907, SS Kronprinz Wilhelm, a German liner, had rammed an iceberg and suffered a crushed bow, but was still able to complete her voyage. The advent of steel ship construction led designers to declare their ships unsinkable. The April 1912 sinking of the Titanic, which killed 1,518 of its 2,223 passengers and crew, changed all that. For the remainder of the ice season of that year, the United States Navy patrolled the waters and monitored ice flow. In November 1913, the International Conference on the Safety of Life at Sea met in London to devise a more permanent system of observing icebergs. Within three months the participating maritime nations had formed the International Ice Patrol IIP. The goal of the IIP was to collect data on meteorology and oceanography to measure currents, ice flow, ocean temperature, and salinity levels. They monitored iceberg dangers near the Grand Banks of Newfoundland and provided the limits of all known ice. 
in that vicinity to the maritime community. The IIP published their first records in 1921, which allowed for a year-by-year -year comparison of iceberg movement. Topic: Technological development. Aerial surveillance of the seas in the early 1930s allowed for the development of charter systems that could accurately detail the ocean currents and iceberg locations. In 1945, experiments tested the effectiveness of radar in detecting icebergs. A decade later, oceanographic monitoring outposts were established for the purpose of collecting data. These outposts continue to serve in environmental study. A computer was first installed on a ship for the purpose of oceanographic monitoring in 1964, which allowed for a faster evaluation of data. By the 1970s, icebreaking ships were equipped with automatic transmissions of satellite photographs of ice in Antarctica. Systems for optical satellites had been developed but were still limited by weather conditions. In the 1980s, drifting buoys were used in Antarctic waters for oceanographic and climate research. They are equipped with sensors that measure ocean temperature and currents. Side-looking airborne radar SLAR made it possible to acquire images regardless of weather conditions. On November 4, 1995, Canada launched RADARSAT-1. Developed by the Canadian Space Agency, it provides images of Earth for scientific and commercial purposes. This system was the first to use synthetic aperture radar SAR, which sends microwave energy to the ocean surface and records the reflections to track icebergs. The European Space Agency launched ENVISAT, an observation satellite that orbits the Earth's poles, on March 1, 2002. ENVISAT employs advanced synthetic aperture radar (ASAR) technology, which can detect changes in surface height accurately. The Canadian Space Agency launched RADARSAT-2 in December 2007, which uses SAR and multipolarization modes and follows the same orbit path as RADARSAT-1. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Modern monitoring. Icebergs are monitored worldwide by the U.S. National Ice Center NIC, established in 1995, which produces analyses and forecasts of Arctic, Antarctic, Great Lakes and Chesapeake Bay ice conditions. More than 95% of the data used in its sea ice analyses are derived from the remote sensors on polar orbiting satellites that survey these remote regions of the Earth. The NIC is the only organization that names and tracks all Antarctic icebergs. It assigns each iceberg larger than 10 nautical miles 19 kilometers along at least one axis a name composed of a letter indicating its point of origin and a running number. The letters used are as follows. A. Longitude 0 degrees to 90 degrees west Bellingshausen C. Weddell C. B. Longitude 90 degrees west to 180 degrees Amundsen C. Eastern Ross C. C. Longitude 90 degrees east to 180 degrees Western Ross C. Wilkes Land 
d longitude 0 degrees to 90 degrees east amory ice shelf eastern weddell sea iceberg b15 carved from the ross ice shelf in 2000 and initially had an area of 11000 square kilometers 4200 square miles it broke apart in november 2002 the largest remaining piece of it, Iceberg B15A, with an area of 3,000 square kilometers (1,200 square miles), was still the largest iceberg on Earth until it ran aground and split into several pieces. October 27, 2005, an event that was observed by seismographs both on the iceberg and across Antarctica. It has been hypothesized that this breakup may also have been abetted by ocean swell generated by an Alaskan storm six days earlier and 13,500 kilometers 8,400 miles away. Topic: <laughs> Recent large icebergs. Iceberg B15 11000 square kilometers 4200 square miles 2000 Iceberg A38 about 6900 square kilometers 2700 square miles 1998 Iceberg A68, Larsen C, 5,800 square kilometers, 2,200 square miles, 2017. Iceberg C19, 5,500 square kilometers, 2,100 square miles, 2002. Iceberg B22, 5,490 square kilometers, 2,120 square miles, 2002. Iceberg B9, 5,390 square kilometers, 2,080 square miles, 1987. Iceberg B15A, 3,100 square kilometers, 1,200 square miles, broke off 2003. Iceberg B31, 615 square kilometers, 237 square miles, 2014. Iceberg D16, 310 square kilometers, 120 square miles, 2006. Iceberg B46, 225 square kilometers, 87 square miles, 2018. Ice sheet, 260 square kilometers, 100 square miles, broken off of Peterman Glacier in northern Greenland on August 5, 2010, considered to be the largest Arctic iceberg since 1962. About a month later, this iceberg split into two pieces upon crashing into Joe Island in the Nares Strait next to Greenland. In June 2011, large fragments of the Peterman Ice Islands were observed off the Labrador coast. Iceberg B17B 140 square kilometers, 54 square miles, 1999, shipping alert issued December 2009. equals <laughs> equals see also